not originally born in Kyushu, but will become a powerhouse there. This was Kato Kiyomasa, also known in childhood as Toranosuke, born in Nakamura, a village in Owari, as the son to a blacksmith named Kato Kiyotada, and whose wife Ito was a cousin of Toyotomi Hideyoshi's mother. It is also possible that Kiyomasa and Hideyoshi were from the same village. There are even rumors of them being boyhood friends, but these are skeptical due to the two's age difference. Kiyomasa's father died when he was young, and he quickly ended up in Hideyoshi's service, and by age 15 was given a stripend of 170 koku. Kiyomasa was a warrior true, and this is proven in many stories, such as when Kiyomasa was sent to live in a temple after his father's death in Tsushima, and the then 9-year-old was home alone when robbers broke into the house. Instead of hiding, he donned a devil mask from No and carrying a small sword, frightened the robbers off. Also, unlike his master Hideyoshi, Kiyomasa hardly put time into artistic pursuits such as poetry or the tea ceremony. In fact, it is said he even banned both if he was present, and the art he did indulge in was the building of castles. Now in Hideyoshi's service, it was really at the Battle of Shizugatake, after Nobunaga's death that he really popped onto the scene of history, as it is at this battle that he was named one of the seven spears by Hideyoshi himself. Also as the battle that solidified Hideyoshi as successor to Nobunaga in terms of power, Kiyomasa obviously rose with him too, being rewarded with an additional 3,000 koku stripend. Also as Kampaku, Hideyoshi also bestowed the court title to Kiyomasa of Kazue no Kami as the head of the accounting bureau and junior 5th court rank lower grade. He would arrive in Kyushu during Hideyoshi's invasion of the island. He fought in the battle of Sendai Gawa, which was more famous for the suicidal charge of the Shibazu samurai and the one-on-one -on -one duel between Kiyomasa and Niro Tagamoto, which ended in Kiyomasa's victory and him sparing Niro. After Hideyoshi's victory, Kiyomasa was truly rewarded, this time with roughly half of the confiscated Higo province worth 250,000 koku and Kumamoto Castle as his provincial residence, which he personally overlooked in his rebuilding. Now almost immediately, Kiyomasa who was a follower of the more militant form of Buddhism, Nichiren, began persecuting Christians in his domain as they believed they should not be in Japan much to the chagrin of the Christian lord Konishi Yukinaga, who awkwardly owned the other half of Higo given to him by Hideyoshi. The next phase of Kiyomasa's life was the seven-year Imjin War against Korea, in which Hideyoshi's plan was to invade Ming China through Korea, which was supposed to fall quickly to the veteran samurai force of 100,000. Kiyomasa being one of the three senior commanders in charge of the invasion. Their provinces being close, Konishi Yukinaga also commanded an army to Korea. The plan was that Kato Kiyomasa would drive north on the eastern side of the Korean peninsula, while Konishi would take Seoul and then move on to Pyongyang. Initially, the plan went well, with the defeat of the regular Korean army at the Battle of the Imjin River, with a feigned retreat. Then, the pacification of Hamgyong to help Korean defectors and the handover of two Korean princes by said defectors. He even proceeded so far that he crossed the Two Men River, stepping into Chinese soil shortly before seeing his position as unfeasible for the long term and pulling back. So how will the Korean invasion turn out? And how will it affect our protagonists? Find out next time. Until next word.